I'm Calvin Dela. I'm Cole Dela. I'm Shayla Dunaway, and this is my husband, Tom Dunaway. Welcome to Episode 8 with LTD Sailing. The crew wakes up at Mullioneer Point with some last minute studying and then the last of the exams. Hey Cole, did you miss out on coffee this morning? That LTD Sailing Special Blend really is tasty. After the exams, the reward is an amazing snorkel at the world's first underwater sculpture park. Then the crew takes us for a sail back around to the LTD dock at Secret Harbor where it all began. We get a warm welcome from the LTD team, and Ryan puts on his savory Louisiana shrimp oil. Congratulations to the new LTD sailing graduates. But on a small boat, think about what's the advantage of putting the lights up the top of the mast? Yeah, and especially if we're heeled over, right? If we're heeled over and our little lights on the bow are shining down into the water, nobody's gonna see that. But if we put up at the top of the mast, they're going to be able to see it from a lot farther away in a lot more uh, conditions. So good. But once we turn on the engines, now we're a powerboat. Powerboats aren't allowed to have tri-lights. None of them. Only sailboats under 20 meters. Okay. Minutes of latitude are way bigger on that chart than the minutes of, of longitude. So. Oh, so the closer you get to the, the equator, the more equal they are. The more, at the equator, yeah. they're exactly equal. Yeah. But as we start going north or south from the equator, that's where the, that distortion starts coming in. So then they start getting a little longer. Yeah. Okay. And so by the time you get up to 48 degrees north, which is where uh, that chart was had you at, there's quite a bit of difference. It's uh, almost yeah, a third I, I, I Alan, keep an eye, we got that fishing line hanging out that boat, so. All right, we good to go? Nice job, you guys. I'm not ready to go back yet. <laughs> I don't want to continue to keep sailing, but yeah. It's been a good time, it's been a good sail, and. Uh, Definitely learned a lot and having fun. 
we're not quite done. We still have a couple hours of sailing left, but um, then we're gonna have a barbecue. Then, then we're done. Then we're gonna have a have a barbecue and celebrate. Well, we oh, who? Thank, thank. The, oh my gosh, the Delos crew. Delos. Holy moly! Yeah, Delos Brian, like Brady, Casa. All of them. It's yeah. like they have no idea that the influence they have on people and yeah, the, the chances that they give people. And I want to thank the LTD sailing team. And Chris. Chris has been How amazing been help. Schooling us. He's been amazing. Alan, our overboard dummy. <laughs> Alan, the overboard dummy. Crystal yeah. for packing some great food. Yes, yes. Yeah, and everybody that we've met here. It's amazing. It's, amazing. I definitely recommend it to anyone. I mean, if they want to learn to sail, this is the come way to out do here. It. Full immersion. Yes. No choice. Wait. Get some shrimp. See, the key to shrimp oil is you gotta wait till it's just right, and then you put that shrimp in there. Yup. Slowly, you gotta do it slowly. If you dump it in too fast, you're gonna spoil the blends. And the key is Old Bay, pre prop for Old Bay seasoning. You gotta have it in there. So, after you get the shrimp in, next thing you gotta do, you gotta get the sausage in there. This is a pork sausage, and uh, traditionally, if you're gonna do a Louisiana uh, shrimp oil. You got some sausage in there. Uh, what's already in there, which you don't see, is potatoes. You got some corn, and uh, also got some onion. And uh, I can't give away the seasoning blend, other other than I can say Old Bay is involved. But there's a few things at LTD that we do that we really can't talk about. Otherwise, you know, you just got to come down and see it. Yeah. LTD guys, you come down, you get some. As uh, Captain John Titan likes to say, come get some. Who's hungry? Yeah. Woo! If I can interject, yeah, it's yeah. time to eat. And there's a bit of a process to this. Yeah. The plates and everything are in there, so you just want to grab one, and uh, you're literally just going to grab what you want from the table. There's going to be potatoes and corn and shrimps and sausage, oh God, and, so and you just kind of you just pick and pull whatever you want on that tape on that plate. You just kind of grab it. <laughs> Shayla, you ready for this? Sure. All right, let's do it. So, take this one. yep. So what you're going to do is you grab that pot and just do like I do. Ready? Right in the middle. And then you just kind of... There she is, boys. Hey, girl. Oh my god! Come on up and see. Oh, oh, let, those are my girls. All right. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Those are his girls. But the, but the and then if anybody likes, here's the Old Bay seasoning. Yeah. If you just feel like it's not good enough, you can add some Old Bay. You can listen to the dance music. <laughs> 
Yeah, they're all. Oh, there's full-on lemons in here. That looks so good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, come on, that one's got the most seasoning on it. <laughs> We're super thankful, super thankful to Chris and LTD and that yeah. whole crew for making this happen for us because it was something that... Chris was, has been was, an amazing yeah, instructor. This was something that was off in the future for us and to have it happen now has been... It's been awesome and great. Yeah. We're super thankful for that. And we're, we're thankful for the Dello screw yeah. for making it happen as well. And uh, the power of a couple <laughs> couple rum drinks and a casual conversation that leads to leads to us, somehow somehow leads to us learning how to sail in Grenada. Yeah. So uh, thanks, shout out to those guys as well. They're a uh, huge shout out. Huge inspiration and it's, you know. Really a, put it in perspective for us that uh, we could sail and yeah. that's a, a real possibility. And then to even go one step farther and you know, through this contest drawing, whatever, actually bring us down here. We're so grateful, and it, it's just been amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I could say it any better. So, cheers. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you. But I think we have all had a good time, had a lot of fun, and I'm uh, glad we got an opportunity to sail with you guys. Just want to say really glad that you guys could all come and join us for this, and especially kind of short notice. We appreciate uh, the Delos crew and how they, you know, were able to kind of help pull you guys in. Really appreciate how that all came together. So. Um, We've had some good adventures. We had uh, had a really good week. We had some amazing lobster barbecue on Sandy Island. We had a little adventure getting off the hook over there. <laughs> uh, at the end, we got to got to experience uh, sometimes things don't always go the way we planned. So problem solving is a huge part of sailing and, and how we're gonna figure it out, how we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, I wanna thank you guys all for joining us. So uh, I've got some log books for you guys. So uh, we'll... Uh, Hand over the log books. Thank, Thank you for sailing you. with us. Thank you so much. Good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Tom. Yes. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Is it an LTD sailing? With yes. Awesome. Is awesome. All right. Oops, I did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I got it right. See, you did it right. I did it wrong. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for all coming. All right. I really appreciate it, and I'm uh, glad you guys could all join us. So. Appreciate the opportunity. It was a blast. Yeah. Now that you're part of the LTD Sailing family, the LTD Sailing alumni, um, we have some things that you know we kind of try to, to do for our for our former students. If you guys want to come back and do an advanced class, you guys talked about oh, yeah. maybe going to the next step. We always give our, our return students uh, discounts on on advanced classes, um, so we have that opportunity. Um, you guys are talking about wanting to charter, maybe getting out in the BVI or wherever. Um, we also, because we work with Sun Sail Moorings and Dream Yachts, uh, we're able to hook our students up with pretty good rates on uh, on charters if they you know book through us. So we can do that anywhere in the world, not just here in the Caribbean. So anywhere you guys want to go, we can we can set you up. So let us know. Crystal and I are actually also boat brokers. So if you guys go want to go that next step and you guys are looking at hey we want to buy a boat, we're gonna go do this. We're gonna join the cruising lifestyle. In a year we're there. Let us know because uh, we'll uh, be happy to help you guys find a find a good boat. Oh wait, wait. Cheers. 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 The crew had a fantastic experience, and being able to share it with you has made it that much better. We're so happy you were able to come along for the ride. Be sure to let Chris and Crystal know if you have any questions about learning to sail, bear boat charters, or even buying a boat. We also do some pretty epic flotillas all around the world. Check out the LTD Sailing website to find out more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the water.